Hey guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are gonna be doing another $100 outfit challenge. Today though, we are gonna be pitting two companies against each other that are actually owned by the same brand. And that is Hollister versus Abercrombie. So both of these stores were very, very popular when I was in middle school and high school. I feel like that was definitely the cool place to shop. And I used to shop there all the time, but I definitely did have some fit problems, especially with my hips and my butt as I started to go through puberty. I've always been curvy no matter like what size I am, how much I weigh. It's just my body always has that same structure. And it was a struggle trying to fit my big old hips and my big old thighs into those little teeny tiny jean shorts. But I am excited to give these stores a second chance today and see what they're up to now, if they've changed their fit, if they've changed their style. And most importantly, see which of these companies is the better one. So I'm gonna be buying one outfit from each of these stores and I'm gonna try to buy like pretty much the exact same outfit. That way we can do a direct comparison on pricing, sizing, quality, fit, and style. And if you haven't seen one of my $100 outfit challenges before, the way I do it is I can go plus or minus $10 from that $100 price point. So basically I have to stay within the range of 90 to 110 for my entire outfit. But before we head over to the mall and do all of our shopping, I want to give a big thank you to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace, for supporting my channel and making it possible. As you guys know, I've had a few videos in the past few weeks get dinged for demonetization and having sponsors on the channel makes it possible for me to keep making videos like this and keep creating content for you guys. So if you've never heard of Squarespace before, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can build a beautiful online presence from websites to online stores and marketing tools and analytics. Squarespace makes it possible to take all of your creative ideas and bring them to life. So let's do it. Let's go to Hollister. Okay, so we are just about to head inside and go to our first store, which is Hollister. Also, ignore this rainbow sparkly kimono. It is for a video that you guys will see next week where I am wearing Dolls Kill outfits for a week. It's crazy, I know, but just try to look past it. So, as I said, first stop is Hollister. And I wanted to start with Hollister because I think Hollister is gonna be more different than Abercrombie and Fitch. Abercrombie definitely is a little bit more mature. I think the sizing is adult sizing, like women's sizing, so even numbers. Whereas Hollister is odd numbers, meaning teen sizing. And I think the clothes at Hollister do just fit a little bit smaller and tighter and are more of that like teen look. I'm 23, not really dressing like I was in high school when I used to go to Hollister all the time. So we're gonna start there and see what we can find. That is like very me right now in summer. And I and the striped one too. I feel like it's been so long since I've been in a Hollister, but they've kind of like turned more into my style, I think. And then shorts, I think I would be a 15 probably here. Cause I tried a 13 here a while ago and it was a little tight. Okay, so here's the first outfit. My first time trying Hollister in a while. These shorts are bringing me back to like the high school days of like really short, really tight Hollister shorts all the time. And especially since they're white, I feel like they're not the most flattering, but I do think the fit is nice. These are the 15s and you know, they're meant to be tight, stretchy shorts, but I think the 15 is gonna fit good. The shirt, I love, 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 love this shirt. It's like a little dad Hawaiian shirt. So second pair of shorts, the waist on these is so cute and fits perfectly. The legs fit fine, but usually for paper bag shorts, I like a looser leg and I do have pretty big thighs. And that's one of the hard parts about being mid-size where I'm like right at the top of standard sizing is these are a 15. I don't have the option to size up if I wanted to. Okay, so here's another outfit option. I love love this striped top and then I have a little like cami in that nude color underneath. These shorts run a little bit smaller than the other ones so I don't think these would be my perfect fit and again can't size up so that's a struggle but they're cute shorts just not the right fit and size for me. Skylar and I are both so surprised by like the style and kind of the vibe that Hollister has switched over to like I'm shocked. Yeah I feel like this whole outfit kind of looks like made well. It looks more mature whereas I feel like when we were in high school Hollister was just booty shorts and like plain t-shirts that said Hollister. Yes. And this is so cute. Has Hollister grown up with us? I think it has. Maybe we <laughs> left it behind, but I'm I'm jumping back on board the Hollister train, at least for tops. Yeah. Maybe not shorts. All right, we got our Hollister outfit. Total was 
109.74, so just under that $110 price range. Let's go home and I will show you guys everything that I got. All right, so we are back at home in the studio. Here is my full Hollister outfit. I got three items. These high-waisted paper bag denim shorts, little tan camisole underneath, and this striped blouse. So these shorts were $49.95, and honestly, they fit pretty well. I think they look cute, but there are a few issues that just make them not like my perfect ideal pair of shorts. They are slightly too loose in the waist for me, but it is a paper bag short, so they're elastic. It's not a big deal that they're a little bit too loose, and they are a little bit more fitted in the thighs than I normally prefer, but again, not a big deal. I'm not squeezing out of them. They look fine. And then the little cami that I'm wearing underneath, it is strapped. It's not a tube top, which thank goodness, because I cannot do tube tops. This was $16.95, and I actually saw very few extra larges in Hollister, so both the blouse and the cami are a large. Normally, I would probably go for the XL first, but I did notice that the Hollister clothes kind of have that like oversized look. And because of that, the cami and the large and the blouse and the large both fit totally fine. It is fitted, but it's not pulling or stretching anywhere on me. The fabric is very, very stretchy and has a lot of give, which I feel like is ideal for a cami because you want that tight fitted look. But the material is thick enough and high quality enough that I think it's still really flattering, even though it is just like a skin tight one piece top. Like even on my chest, it has enough stretch that I don't feel like I'm gonna like pop out of it or anything. And then the blouse was $34.95 and this is like the standout piece for me. It is just so cute, so my style. And what I love about it is it's that like perfect length where when I was wearing it buttoned up before, it looked just like a cute little crop top or I could unbutton it, give a little tie here and it makes like a cute little like more vintage crop top look. It's just so cute. I love the colors, I love the fit, the material feels very high quality. I always thought that Hollister wasn't my style and didn't carry things like this, but they definitely do as we can see. Okay, stop number two. We are at Abercrombie and I'm gonna try to recreate this Hollister outfit as best that I can. I'm really interested to see how the sizing differs since Hollister is teen sizing and Abercrombie I'm pretty sure is women's sizing, but we'll see. I definitely could use some more room in the thighs from the Hollister shorts, so hopefully Abercrombie can provide. <laughs> in between sizes. I used to be like a true 12 and now I'm more like a 12, 14. So it is more difficult to find the right size. I'm pretty sure Abercrombie, I'm gonna be a 14 cause they do run a little bit smaller compared to like Madewell, Old Navy, the more like adult stores. So I'm gonna try 12s and 14s and we'll see what fits, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the 14s. And one thing I have noticed just shopping at Abercrombie and Hollister back to back, Hollister did not have any XLs. They only want small, medium, large and Abercrombie has more XLs and they also have petite and tall, which Hollister did not have. That's awesome. Yeah, but we'll have to see how the fit compares because I really have no idea how it's gonna work. So let's hit the dressing room. I think I think we've both got more than enough clothes here. <laughs> okay, clearly this does not fit. These are the Abercrombie 12s. Abercrombie has zero stretch. Like Hollister had a lot of stretch. These are like rigid, rigid, no stretch. Definitely need a 14. <laughs> okay, I brought Skylar in for moral support since the short situation was not going well. Always take a friend shopping because sometimes you just need it. So these are the 14s and they do fit they are a little tighter and shorter than I would normally go but I think they're the right size you look so cute but can I just say that you look so much like old Sierra this is like high school Sierra to a T the short tight stretchy except they were low rise which thank goodness low rise is done <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna insert a photo because this is like what I would wear to like every high school football game. So we have this little striped shirt, which I actually really like. And I think I'll do the same thing where I kind of wear it open with some sort of bandeau underneath. Look how small, I can't even zip. And these are 14s and I'm usually like a 12 or 14, but I figured out the problem. It's actually not really the waist, it's the butt. If you look in the back, there's so much room here. And then here, there's just none. These are really not made 
for thighs and hips and a booty. Whereas I feel like the Hollister shorts, at least because they had stretch, they worked for me. And these just, there's just no way. So since the prices at Abercrombie were slightly higher than Hollister, I was a little bit worried about staying under 110 since we got so close already with Hollister. We got the items, we got the outfit. The final total was 107 and 75 cents. It was actually $10 more than that. And I was like, oh my gosh, we didn't do it. Like we didn't hit the right number. I can't get the cami and then it won't be the same outfit. And then they were like, oh, if you enter your email for rewards points, you get $10 off. So we did that and it took us right under the cap. So let's go home, try on the Abercrombie outfit and compare the two. All right, so here is my full Abercrombie outfit. I got three items again, and the total was $107.75. So I was able to find another little like striped boxy summer shirt, which I was super excited about because it makes the comparison easier. But this one is a little bit longer than the Hollister top, so I'm actually gonna unbutton it and tie it because I just think that's a cuter look for a shirt like this. There we go. So that is how I would style this shirt on a normal day. Let's take a look at each item, starting with the shorts so these shorts were $40 and they look like denim but they're more that like soft cottony fabric shorts and I do really like these shorts but it is kind of a bummer that there was not a single pair of actual denim shorts in all of the Abercrombie store that actually fit me properly and came in the right size and looked the way I want shorts to look on my body I just didn't feel like there was a lot of shorts there but honestly any shorts there other than these that worked for me I am really Really glad I found these though. And these shorts actually aren't numbered sizes, which is probably why they fit me better. These are an extra large, whereas the normal denim came in like, you know, 8, 10, 12, 14, and stopped at a 14. And their 14s fit me like a 10. And I haven't been a 10 for like maybe six months to a year, but those 14s legit fit me like my old 10s that I do not fit into anymore. But moving on from the shorts, let me untie this. You guys can see the little cami. This one was $16.36. Sense. And it's kind of a similar style as the Hollister one, but definitely like a different fabric and different construction. This one isn't as high quality, I would say. It doesn't have as much stretch. It's ribbed, but it isn't as like fitted. And it is a little bit see-through as you can see. Nothing crazy, but I think part of that is because like I said, it's not as like thick and high quality as the Hollister one. And also it's white and pretty much everything white happens to be a little bit see-through. And lastly, we have the blouse. This was $43.64. I just love like super cute colors, great fit, just a, a really awesome blouse and totally my style. I ended up going with the large in this shirt, but I do like that Abercrombie carries a lot more extra larges in store because I got the option to size up or go with this one. It's just always better when there are more options because some things run big, some things run small. I'm usually an extra large, but I think the large in this one is perfect for me. So now that we've tried on both outfits, let's compare to figure out which store is actually the better one. So let's start with the shorts. The shorts at Hollister were $49.95 and the ones from Abercrombie were $40. All of the Hollister shorts that I tried on in general, even the ones that didn't fit, were just so much more like stretchy and curve hugging with a lot more room in the hips and the waist than the Abercrombie ones I tried. And while I am pretty happy with the Abercrombie shorts that I found in the end, I still just don't think they're as cute or as great as the Hollister ones. And even just finding that one pair of Abercrombie shorts that fit and that I liked was such a struggle and such a journey, like nine out of the 10 pairs that I tried did not work. So Hollister is definitely gonna be the winner on shorts, even though they were a little bit more expensive, I think it's worth it. Now let's take a look at the camis, the little undershirts that I got. So so the Hollister one was $16.95, while the Abercrombie one was $16.36. So very, very close in price. Both of these tank tops are pretty simple and they both get the job done, but I am gonna say that the winner is the Hollister one, just because the material was a lot thicker, it had more stretch to it, and it wasn't see-through. And the blouses. I love both of these shirts. I think they are just so cute. The Hollister one was $34.95, and the Abercrombie shirt was 
and 64 cents. This one is a really close call. Like I said, I think both of these shirts are great on fit. They feel very high quality and well put together. They're so my style and I think it's just a really flattering cut. However though, for the third time, I am gonna make Hollister the winner, mainly because of the length of the shirt. With the Hollister shirt, it's that perfect length where I could just wear it and it's a perfect little crop top. It hits like right below my belly button or I could open it up and tie it into a cute little tie shirt. But the Abercrombie shirt is a little bit longer. It's a little bit more of an awkward length to me, especially with shorts. And the Hollister shirt was almost $10 cheaper. So Hollister is definitely the winner, which I think makes it pretty obvious which store I prefer overall. And I'm honestly very surprised the winner is Hollister. Going into this video, I thought for sure that I was gonna like Abercrombie more. I have recently started shopping at Abercrombie again, whereas Hollister, I haven't really tried since my high school days. And walking into Hollister, I feel like all the clothes and the displays were very cute, very my style. Everything I touched and felt and tried on felt very high quality. And I felt like it was a lot more welcoming of an environment than I remembered. Even though they are a brand that doesn't have plus size, I felt like their photos didn't really seem like there was Photoshop, they weren't trying to achieve that look that I associate with Hollister. That's just like one body type. This is for one type of girl. I feel like they're definitely expanding to try to accommodate different sizes and different body types, but I would love to see them expand into plus sizing. I think that would be amazing. Whereas at Abercrombie, I was surprised that it didn't feel as welcoming as Hollister. And even though they did carry more XLs than Hollister, which I appreciated, everything ran so much smaller. And you know, Abercrombie is women's sizing and Hollister is teen sizing. So you would think that the Hollister clothes would be smaller, but no, the Abercrombie clothes, they just ran significantly smaller. And as a woman who's already on the larger end of standard sizes, you know, I'm a 12, 14, it didn't give me the option to size up, which was honestly pretty frustrating when I was in the dressing room, trying on pair after pair of denim shorts that just weren't made for a body type like mine. But let me know down in the comments, what do you think? Did Hollister win? Was Abercrombie better? And are you interested in shopping at either of these stores? I definitely think that I am going to be shopping at Hollister more often. Their clothes seemed very cute and very my style. And I'm just kind of excited to have a new store that I hadn't really thought about shopping at in a long time. And I want to say another big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel, making everything possible. If you have a business venture or an idea that you've always dreamed about starting, but you never really thought that you could make it a reality, Squarespace gives you all the tools that you need to bring those ideas to life. Squarespace really is an all-in-one platform. You can claim a domain name, sell in an online store, build a website and market a brand all on Squarespace. <laughs> I've been working on developing my blog. I've always had the idea of having a website where I could show you guys like outfit ideas and behind the scenes stuff. But since I'm not very good at web design, I always thought it was something I couldn't do on my own that I was gonna have to have someone help me with. But Squarespace is so easy and so user friendly. I have been able to create my vision without any outside help. They have built in mobile websites so so your content looks amazing on every device. And Squarespace also has a built-in image editor that makes it easy to edit your photos directly within your browser. It's really easy to use for a wide range of projects and I've just had so much fun fiddling around with my blog and trying to make it perfect and aesthetic. So head over to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Sierra and use code Sierra to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I hope you guys enjoyed this video Video. Thank you so much for watching. Be confident, love your body, and I'll see you next time. Bye!